Hi everyone, welcome to that little um, update I'm doing about the Tempest and uh, my synchronization problem I had with the Tempest on a previous video where um, basically I had uh, I was trying to synchronize the Tempest with uh, my modeler gear and uh, using a key step at the time and I upgraded with a key step pro hopefully I had more options but not in terms of synchronization um, so I had a four millisecond delay where the Tempest was um, late four milliseconds four or five milliseconds and uh, when it comes to drums and percussions is a bit uh, of a problem because everything sounds clappy and uh, trying to uh, understand this I found some people talking about the multi-clock fun ER, ERM I think so it's quite a, a pricey box uh, to uh, generate four clocks, MIDI clocks, that you can uh, manipulate here with a bit of offset. You go to the tenth of a millisecond and you have some shuffle, different options. This is not a, re a review about the multi-clock, it's just to say that I've solved, the prob I've solved the problem in a way, not fully, and I will show you how that works. So I'm going to press play on this. This is MIDI channel 3 here, uh, master for the Tempest that is slave, and this MIDI channel goes to my um, Keystep Pro and Pamela's new workout, triggering a mutant bass drum. But the bass drum you're going to listen here is a high pitch bass drum, just more like a snare. And here I have a kick. Let's just listen to this. Everything here is set to zero, so it's like basically I would have no. Um, it's synchronized, but I don't have the offset managed. So it's like it's I get the same result. Of the previous synchronization I have with that four millisecond offset. You can listen to this now. So if you guys are familiar with that, you can hear that the snare and the kick, they go clap, clap. They're not perfectly in sync. So the good thing about that is, not sure you can see the, the screen, my phone is uh, not very good, but you can set here uh, an offset here. I set it to a range from minus 20 to plus 20 milliseconds. You can adjust that, but again, this is not a review about this tool. You can go up to ooh, quite a lot, 300 milliseconds plus or minus. So I just set it in 20. That's the range I want to look for. Sorry for the shaky phone. Um, and when I set it to plus or minus milli, uh, 20 millisecond, like I can go minus four millisecond. And normally that would solve the problem I had previously. So now Tempest is going to be played earlier four milliseconds, therefore bringing it back in, on track. Let's try that, whoops, sorry. So you can hear that, that's quite okay. It's actually not four milliseconds. It's more like six. That's better. For some people that were writing in the comment that there's not much difference between like four milliseconds, not a big thing, it might be a groove. Just listen to zero and minus six. So just Pay attention to the kick and snare and you can hear how now they are really synchronized and when you don't use the offset they are clappy. No offset. And a six millisecond offset. Well that's it. So basically the problem solved, right? Well, not really. The problem with uh, the MIDI clock, now it's working as a master. Uh, you can use it by sending a a wave signal and it will clock to that wave signal following a plugging on your door. This is not a how I'm using it here. It's just master and sending uh, clocks in my setup. But if I press play, play, sorry, if I press play again here, you'll hear that the six milliseconds sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So we're good. Stop, play again. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's lost now. So if I put it back to zero, it's clappy, minus six, 
worse. So I gotta go plus now. Better, plus eight, 10. Fifteen is too much. Plus thirteen. So that's what I found. Basically, sometimes I press stop and play. Either I have minus six milliseconds for the tempest, or plus thirteen. And sometimes it's minus thirteen. These are the three settings. There's no eight, seven in between, or something. It's always this. I'm going to leave it at plus thirteen. Play. Now we're good. So I don't know, maybe that's something I'm doing really. I had it out of the box trying this. This is the setup I want and that's the problem I have now. Because you're in live configuration basically. You play, you're not sure it's going to be okay. If not, just go to minus six. <laughs> that's, I'm sure it's going to be fine. But leave it at plus 13. Let's try it, play. Yeah, that's good. Actually a plus setting as an offset is better because if I put it minus six it takes at least one beat for the tempest to be synchronized for some reason. The first one is clap and the second one is on time. So uh, let's put it back to 13, see if I have another, another example where it desynchronize. No, that's perfect. Good tool, quite pricey, you would hope that uh, when you buy a hardware that is over 2,000 euro, there's somewhere a setting where you can uh, adjust an offset on the MIDI clock, especially with a, uh, a, drum, a drum machine, another clock device. Uh, I don't know actually if the Pamela's new workout has an offset feature in its settings. I'll have to, to check that. We're good. Look, uh, it makes me lie because I was really having a lot of variations earlier and now it's quite steady. Now it's plus 13 and it stays there. But you gotta pay attention and I don't know where that comes from. Probably not from the multi-clock itself. I think that's quite a good product. Ah, that's it. Now we lost. So see, I've been playing like six times and on the seventh time I lost it. So in life situation you don't want this because really the snare is nasty. Uh, so I'm going to go minus six and I'm sure it's going to work. That's it. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. If you guys are trying to synchronize your stuff, uh, give me some information on how you're doing it. For the moment, it's the best tool I, I found. The offset feature is super accurate, very convenient, large, large range of uh, adjustments and uh, a shuffle options, many, many other things going on with uh, beat divisions and, um, and uh, other stuff. So just check out some videos about the multi-clock, very good tool, half the price would be amazing, but still happy to have my gear working in sync.